What's up everybody, Lurchy Lurch here, and welcome back to another Redstone episode, where today we're going to be making a super simple, intelligent auto crafter for all items. Here's a quick list of all the items that we're going to need for this. For this auto crafter, we're going to need a 6 wide by 11 deep by 8 tall area. Starting at the top right corner, we are going to go over one and in one block and then place three of our solid blocks like so with two more solid blocks just like that. And coming around to this side, we're going to temporarily break down one block and place an observer facing upwards just like that. On top of these blocks, we are going to place powered rails all the way down just like that. Coming off of the rail on top of the observer, we're going to place two more solid blocks. Coming back around over to this side, we are going to place one observer facing into this observer with another observer facing into that one. On top of this observer, we're going to place a note block with a temporary block right there, an observer facing into that, and then we can go ahead and get rid of this temporary block and place two powered rails right on top of these solid blocks. Coming back over to this side, up against this far rail right here, we're going to place a note block, and then we're going to place one, two, and three solid blocks with one, two, three, four, five, and six more. And then we're going to remove the solid block on top of the note block and the one to the right of that. And then right on top of this note block right here, we are going to place an observer facing upwards with an auto crafter right next to it. With this auto crafter, we're going to access it and click every single one of the crafting slots available inside. Exiting that, on top of this whole row right here, we are going to place a row of powered rails. From here, we're going to place a temporary solid block underneath of the auto crafter with a solid block right off to the side of that. We can go ahead and remove the temporary block. Then right on top of this block right here, we're going to place an observer facing upwards. And then, coming off of the auto crafter facing towards the observer, we're going to place a comparator. And then, facing towards the back of everything, we're going to place another comparator right on top of that observer. Then, we're going to take an observer and place it facing down into the rail right next to this other observer. And on top of that, we're going to place our auto crafter. Back at the front of the machine, we're going to come over here to the right side and place an observer facing into the observer that has the comparator on top of it right here. Then over here, we're going to place a double chest off of the front of the auto crafter right here with a temporary block right next to it, an observer facing up coming off of that temporary block, which we can now remove with a comparator on top of that, comparating out of the chest here, with a redstone block right on the side of the comparator. Back over here to the right side, we're going to place a sticky piston on the note block, pushing away towards the front of the machine. We're then going to place a temporary block in front of that, with a note block right in front of that, and an observer facing down into right there. We can then go ahead and remove this temporary block. From right here, we can go ahead and place a solid block on top of the observer right there, and then place seven solid blocks starting on the sticky piston going towards the back of the machine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And on top of these seven, we can go ahead and place a row of powered rails. Starting on top of our central auto crafter here, we're going to place a hopper facing into that with eight more hoppers going towards the back of the machine facing into this hopper. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we can go ahead and place a barrel on top of each of these nine different hoppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Starting at the front here, we are going to place two temporary blocks on top of the barrel here. Remove the bottom one and then place a dropper facing down into the barrel. We can go ahead and remove this temporary block and we can see that this dropper is in fact facing into the barrel below it. We're going to go ahead and repeat for all of the eight remaining barrels. Coming over here to the left side of the machine, we are then going to place a hopper going into each one of these droppers, just like so. And then we're going to place a double chest on top of each one of them, starting on the hopper and coming over top of the dropper here. We'll go ahead and repeat this all the way down. As a bit of a side note, it's not necessary, but it will probably be easier if you go ahead and put an item frame on each one of these. Each one of these will contain an item used for auto crafting. Coming back over to the left side, we are going to place a temporary block up against this barrel right here. Then we're going to place an observer facing up off of the temporary block, which we can now remove. Then we're going to go ahead and repeat, placing an observer facing up all the way down to the very end right there. On top of each of these observers, we're going to go ahead and grab a comparator and place one facing off of the hopper right in front of it. Go ahead and do this all the way down. Just like that. Coming off the front of each one of these comparators here, we're going to go ahead and place a solid block and carry that all the way down like so. Then we're going to go ahead and put the redstone lamps on top of each of these. Coming over to the right side of the machine, we are going to place an observer facing down into this first powered rail. Then we're going to skip one, two rails on this third rail. We're going to place another observer facing into the rail and then skip two more rails one and two and on this final rail here place our last observer facing into the rail right there we're then going to go ahead and place a solid block on top of and to the left side towards the middle of the machine of each of these observers right here kind of like that then off of each of these we're going to go ahead and grab a repeater real quick we're going to place a repeater facing into the dispenser or the dropper right here. And we're going to make sure that it is on max tick for each one of these. It's very important that these are on max tick. Otherwise, your timings will be all sorts of wonky. And that, my friends, is the completed super simple intelligent auto crafter. Real quick, we're going to go ahead and go over how to load it up. So, before you start actually putting any of your supplies in, we're going to go ahead and temporarily remove this note block right here. This will just ensure that as we're filling each of these up and the comparators are turning on and off, they're not going to activate the system and start doing anything just quite yet. You'll notice that inside of the crafter here, we have our nine different slots. Keeping in mind that the top left is number one, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. With that in mind, when you are programming your auto crafter, over here at the front of the machine, this first chest will be slot number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you'll go ahead and you'll get that all filled up with whatever your desired items are for the order that they need to go into the crafter. Once you have filled all of these, you can go ahead, come down here and replace this here fancy note block. And that should get everything going. If it doesn't, if there's an off chance that it doesn't, you can go ahead and just take all of your items and manually fill this crafter for the first time. And then it'll automatically just start crafting everything. I am an absolute fool, really quick. What we need to do is come down here and we misplace this observer right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the observer from right there 
and we're going to place it facing into the observer underneath the auto crafter right here just like that you can see our arrow pointing back towards this way my apologies that will fix everything that was going on for it not working if you were trying to get it to work. So now that we've gone ahead and built it real quick, let's go ahead and go over what's happening. So as I'm sure you've been able to surmise, these items up here are all the items we are going to use for the auto crafting. Once this auto crafting actually gets started, you're going to see that it will obviously not be able to send a signal out of this comparator until it is actually full and ready to craft. Once it does send a signal, this observer right here detects that, which powers the rail, which this one detects, which has this auto craft. That observer being activated underneath right there will activate this observer, which will hit this guy right here, which activates our uh, observer above this, which in turn activates this line, which activates each one of these observers, which activates the droppers, which put all the items in to be crafted. With this system, this system is pulling the shutoff comparator signal off of the hopper right here, which means that once this machine shuts off, technically speaking, you could still craft a whole dropper's worth of stuff, but we're using this as a safety buffer to make sure that things don't get out of line or out, you know, all kawampus or whatnot so that you're able to continue to craft throughout. Each one of these lamps is obviously a signal for whatever supply you have right here, either being full or empty. Coming down over here, this particular design will craft and craft and craft until this chest is full of items, at which point it will automatically shut off by sending a signal through this comparator, which we have blocked with the redstone block right here meaning that it can't put out a signal until the chest behind it is full. Once it does so, the observer detects that, sends a signal down this rail, which we come over here, this observer detects, which this one goes, sends a signal all the way up and through, which in the long run will push this up and over, which means that we won't be able to auto craft anymore. You can see every time this thing crafts right here, it sends a signal through this observer into the note block and up to go for the next cycle. If we push this note block over here, there's not gonna be a signal sent through and the machine will just shut off automatically. Well, that's it guys. That is the super simple, intelligent, all item auto crafter. I really hope you enjoy and I hope this machine comes in very useful for you. It has been very useful for me as we can tell from the giant machine behind us. But I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see ya.